A computer is an indispensable tool for every programmer. But how do you know what kind of computer you should pick for programming? Well, this video will answer your questions. Let's get started with your role here. Coding is mostly text manipulation. It isn't a very resource-intensive job. Most of the computer components available on the market should be fine for most programmers. If you're a student, save your money and buy an affordable one. There is no need to spend too much money on your computer. But if you are making a living with programming, then it makes sense to get an excellent computer because you're likely to use it almost every single day. Here are the important factors to consider when you're looking to buy a computer as a developer. Custom built versus pre-built PC. With a custom computer, you must decide what kind of hardware to get. It would require much more knowledge. Since you are buying every single component separately, you need to make sure that they are compatible with each other. With a pre-built computer, it is much more convenient, but you will be limited by the hardware installed by the seller. You may still be able to upgrade or replace parts, but you will only have whatever opportunities the computer seller gives to you. Custom PCs used to be a cheaper choice, but what we have seen recently, the mobile industry started using a lot more RAM in production, which has resulted in a shortage of RAM storage in the industry, and in the past recent years, GPU prices became so expensive because people were going crazy about cryptocurrency mining. So in reality, buying a pre-built computer may be a cheaper option since the parts are bought directly in bundles from the manufacturers. Desktop computer versus laptop. The primary factor here would be portability. If you travel a lot or need your workstation to be with you at all times, then a laptop is the right choice. Today, laptops are powerful enough that they can be used for web development and coding. Many professional web developers have admitted that they haven't used a desktop in years as laptops offer the flexibility to conduct their work from anywhere. What laptops lack is the upgradability. You can't alter major things in laptops. You'll have to carefully choose what model is the right one for you. The screen is crucial on a laptop. Due to size constraints, laptop displays are comparatively very small, so you should pick a laptop with a screen that is large and crisp enough for your tasks. When picking up the storage device, choosing a laptop with SSD is better in terms of performance, but it is more expensive compared to the traditional hard disk drives. The battery is another crucial factor for a laptop. You should look for a battery with the longest runtime. Generally, you should pick a laptop with a battery that has the most electrical charge. If you have decided to get yourself a PC, here are things to look for when getting a computer for programming computers. Hard disk drives versus SSDs. The traditional hard disk drives are slower and very delicate. Vibrations and shocks can easily damage their internal components, while the SSDs or solid state drives are much less susceptible to shocks and vibrations and can load files much quicker. To make the most use of both, you can build a hybrid storage system. You should get an SSD to keep your operating system and frequently used files on, while the hard disk drives will be used to keep large files that aren't read that frequently. RAM. If you don't have sufficient RAM on your computer, the software may work slowly, crash, or refuse to launch altogether. Most applications have minimum and recommended requirements, and you should aim for those recommended to ensure smooth running. Monitor. Your monitor needs to be easy on your eyes so you don't get tired from long hours of work. There are currently three common monitor resolutions, 1080p, 1440p, and 4K. 1080p is ideal for 21 to 24 inch displays. This resolution should be the least to go for. 1440p offers a noticeable improvement over 1080p. It is ideal for 24 to 27 inch displays, while 4K is commonly used in 27 inch displays and larger. Many programmers will have two or even three monitors running at the same time. With dual or triple monitor setup, you will use one monitor for your code, while the other monitor can be used to read documentation or research topics while the third monitor will be used for testing codes. This setup is often essential in fields like app development or web development. Keyboard. A good keyboard should be comfortable and easy on your hands. There are three common keyboard sizes available in the market, full size, 10 keyless, and compact keyboards. A full size keyboard has standard layout with alphabetic keys, punctuation symbols, number keys, and also additional function keys. They are often the most comfortable among the three types. A 10 keyless keyboard is similar to a full-size keyboard, but it doesn't have the number pad on the right, and it will occupy less space on your table. Compact keyboards have smaller keys that are put very close to each other, 
you may find typing on such a keyboard is quite uneasy. These keyboards usually have no arrows or function keys, so they aren't as functional as 10 keyless or full-size keyboards. The only reason for you to opt for a compact keyboard is if you need to save as much space as possible or when you're on a go. Ergonomic keyboards. The standard keyboard usually forces us to pull in and straighten the arm position, bend the wrists, and then hold these positions for many hours. This usually results in pain and discomfort that can spread throughout the fingers, the wrists, elbows, and even up to the shoulders. Ergonomic keyboards have a curved key layout that allows you to type without twisting your wrists. If you have experienced any stress and pain in your wrists when typing, then an ergonomic keyboard would be a good pick. Mouse. A standard mouse will force your palm towards the table, and it will put a strain on your wrists. If you are one of those who feels a strain when working with a conventional mouse, then you should go for an ergonomic mouse. There are three types of ergonomic mouse, vertical, trackball, and sculpt. Vertical mouse. A vertical mouse puts your hand in a neutral position. Your palm is set parallel to your body, which is much more natural in ergonomic position. The bad thing about vertical mice, they require some time getting used to. Trackball mouse. Some programmers find that trackball mouse is much more comfortable. A trackball mouse has a trackball that is rotated with the fingers to move the cursor. Your hand remains stationary on the tabletop. Sculpt mouse. A sculpt mouse looks very much like a regular mouse, but the shape of a sculpt mouse slopes up and gently rises back towards the palm, allowing for more comfortable positioning of the wrist. Apart from the hardware, the other thing you should consider when looking to buy a computer for web development is the operating system. The three most common used operating systems nowadays are Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Windows is the most popular system. Windows supports most programming languages, so if the programming language of your choice works on Windows, you may look no further. Mac OS is a very popular choice among web developers nowadays. If you're an iOS app developer, Mac OS is definitely a good choice. Linux is far ahead of Mac and Windows when it comes to security and customizability, but it may lack in tools and software when compared to the other two operating systems. Which operating system should you choose? As a programmer, you might often find yourself in a situation where you have to switch over to another operating system. You probably need to run Linux on Windows PC or run Windows on Mac. In these cases, you need to ensure the machine you are working with has sufficient RAM in order to do these things. When you are using a virtual machine like Parallels or Boot Camp to boot the next operating system as a virtual machine, you will have the options to go with what includes Linux, Windows, or Mac dependent on your software requirements. I hope you get some useful tips from this video. Thanks for watching.